Today, we're gonna tackle a very popular question amongst air gun enthusiasts and anyone who likes BB guns in general. In front of us, we have two of the most iconic rifles of all time, the Buck 105 and the Daisy Red Rider. So which rifle is best for you? And what's the price difference? Which one has more power? And also, which one's more accurate? Are these powerful enough to penetrate skin? Generally, the Red Rider is number one, and its little brother, the Buck, is number two. The Red Rider has a 650 shot capacity, and it comes just over two pounds. The Buck has a 400 shot capacity, and it comes just over one and a half pounds. The Red Rider comes around 36 inches, and the Buck around 30. The Red Rider offers a more premium feel with the metal lever, lanyard keyring, and the wood foregrip. The Buck doesn't have these features and it has a plastic lever. We're going to be using the Daisy Standard Steel BBs. Here are the accuracy results for the $25 Red Rider. Now let's test out the accuracy for the buck. And these are the results for the $18 Buck 105. So as you can see, the Red Rider had just a little bit tighter grouping than the Buck. Now let's test out the feet per second on these rifles. First up is the Buck. Let's do some plinking now with the Buck 105. We're shooting at 25 yards or 75 foot distance.
Let's do some plinking with the red rider now. We're gonna try the daisy and the buck versus apples in slow motion. So now we're gonna try penetration test with the buck. Okay, so here's the damage caused by the daisy buck. So here's some entry. Look at those exit wounds. So here we have entry holes. And the exit holes. You can see there. I think they all went through. Yeah, they all went through. For the next part of the penetration test, we're gonna see how far the Daisy Buck and the Daisy Red Rider go through classic baloney. Up first is the Daisy Buck. And we're only gonna be shooting at about 10 feet distance. So I think all the uh, BBs actually went through. So this side, you have the buck, and on this side, you have the red rider. Now let's see the back. You have BBs here. We start seeing that on the right side, you can see just a little bit more indentations from the Red Rider. 
still see them here. And they went through. They made it all of them. So now we're going to try shooting another can. This one is a lot thicker than a regular can like Coca-Cola. This is about twice as thick. The buck. Next up is the Red Rider. Next up is the buck. up is the Red Rider. So here we have the damage. The bottom is the Red Rider and the top is the Buck. They both did a pretty good job. We're going to try shooting these tin coffee cups at 20 feet. These are old cups and they have rain water in them. So we're going to see how far they penetrate. We're shooting at 20 foot distance. So here's the damage caused by the buck. Here's the damage caused by the Red Rider. For the next part of the test, we're going to shoot a can of pellets. A 22 caliber pellets is regular tin can of pellets and anybody has. So on the other side here, we have the Red Rider on the bottom, the buck on top, then we have the buck here, and the Red Rider there. Looks like the Red Rider went just a little bit further. We have the buck here, these two, the red rider here, these two. And we can't open it anymore because it's jammed. So right here, they look pretty even. For the next part of the penetration test, we're gonna compare the damage caused by the red rider and the buck against a piece of chicken wing. First up is the buck. So here we see the damage caused by the buck. We see the BB penetrated through the skin here and there. And there's BBs inside the skin here.
Now it's the Red Rider's turn. So here is the Red Rider. So this is a little bit thicker part. It's a lot of fat in there. But went in through here as well. And almost made it out. Got stuck at the outside part of the skin. Here we have one of the Buck and Red Rider BBs that made it all the way through bone. And this was the, the thinnest part, but it actually broke the bone. And look, both of them actually broke the bone and got through. For the next part of the test, we're going to compare the damage against this unlucky McDonald's toy. Not really that much damage. You can see the red rider here and the buck there and the buck here and the red rider there. I mean it's a pretty hard plastic. This is just for fun. So this concludes our comparison of the red rider and the buck. I hope after watching this video you have a better idea of how they stack up against each other. My favorite one out of the two is the buck. I just love how it feels like a toy almost in your hand. It's powerful and accurate, and you can have fun at long distances. Don't get me wrong, the Red Rider is a great option, and I love having fun with it too. It's actually a little bit more accurate at longer distances than the Buck. Hitting these small targets up there like these pears, and that small crane up there, is a little bit less difficult with the Red Rider. The actual trajectory of the BB shoots a little bit to the left and down. So you can actually predict the trajectory and hit it a little bit more accurately than the buck. The buck's trajectory seems to just drop down a little bit, but at times it will drop to the right or left. The Red Rider also has these uh, mishaps as well. It'll shoot to the right every now and then. These guns aren't extremely accurate. They're not hunting rifles. But they're very, very fun plinking rifles and you can just do a lot of things with them.